So we have done our primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, and our secondary colors, orange, green, and violet. Um, and we have also added to each one of these uh, tones and shades in the same spot. Okay, so now we're ready for our intermediate colors or tertiary colors. Okay, uh, it's, it means the same thing. Okay, they're the colors in between our secondary and our primary colors. So. I'm going to start here with yellow orange um, and what we need to realize is that we don't have a color of marker that is yellow orange so we're going to do some visual mixing okay just like we've been doing with the tones and the shades so with visual mixing um, we're going to have uh, both of these colors just right down on the paper next to each other now what I would suggest doing is doing it on a scrap piece of paper like this and I just kind of worked through here and added it just to see what it looks like and just kind of uh, uh, just worked th work through it okay just to work out some of the kinks before I put it on my project now one thing that I will say as a general rule of thumb when you are layering markers like this you want to put your lightest color down first Okay, and since we're going to be working with three colors in some areas now, so like um, in this area right here that is a tone, we're going to have yellow and orange for yellow orange, plus we'll also have gray. Um, so uh, you want to put your light colors down first. So what I would do in this spot right here is I would go yellow first, then orange, then gray. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this right in here and you can kind of watch how I do this um, so you get a good idea. And I am, again, following the contours of the shape and since it is yellow-orange, okay, uh, it should have more yellow than orange. So I'm going to get quite a bit of yellow in here, all right, and just a smaller amount of orange something like that okay right in here I'm going to do the same thing again I am following the, the uh, contours of this shape And try not to do it too systematically where you're like going down rows, but just try and make it flow a little bit more naturally. Okay. And the whole time I'm doing this, I have this paper right next to me. Okay. So it's telling me where to put the gray, where to put the black, but I should be able to look at these other spots as well to kind of figure that out too. Um, you want to make sure that you're paying attention uh, before you start coloring to what color you're working on. So yellow orange, okay, putting it in the right spot. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the gray now. Okay, that's looking good. All right. So you can kind of get an idea of how I'm doing this. I'm going to just kind of keep scooting right along here.
there you go. Now we're going to do this to the rest of them as well. Okay. Um, again, light color to darkest color. So if I were to do red orange, I would do orange, then red um, in the main spots. Uh, and then I would probably, I would test it out first over here with gray um, and see what works better putting gray. I would imagine putting gray down first and then doing your red and your orange for red orange would work best. So have a little test piece of paper to see what works best before you put it on here. But generally speaking, you want to go light to dark when you're layering your colors up. Okay, so there you go. Have fun.